Top 10 Biggest Myths About Cybersecurity Cybersecurity is one of the most important issues facing businesses today, but misconceptions around continue to linger, often going unchallenged. In this video, we'll address some of the biggest cybersecurity myths and provide you with accurate information about the topic. We hope that this will help you make more informed decisions when it comes to protecting your business from cyber threats. Now, let's begin. Number 10. We never have and never will face a cyber attack. This kind of arrogance was displayed by the people of Athens in 1184 BC. And look what the Greeks did to them with the help of a Trojan horse. Cyber attacks are becoming more common and sophisticated every day. This can be as simple as email phishing scams, or they can be more complex like malicious code injection into your network via a website or infected USB drive. Cyber criminals are getting smarter, but they don't stop there. They also become more organized and strategic in their attacks. Do you remember Rami Malik and Mr. Robot spreading havoc everywhere? That is exactly what cyber criminals have the potential to do. For example, most ransomware attacks today start with an email that looks like it has come from your husband, requesting personal information such as password reset codes for your own accounts, which could then be used to access corporate data. If you don't get this message immediately, or if you ignore it altogether, you're opening yourself up for serious trouble once the malware begins its attack. The fact is that we're all vulnerable. Even small businesses need protection against cyber attacks because everyone else has been infected too. Number 9. Our passwords are strong enough to avoid a data breach. This is a common sentiment, especially among security experts. They tell us that if you use a strong password and change it frequently, your online accounts are protected from hackers who might try to steal your personal information. But is this true? Nope. Even if your passwords are top-notch, they might still be hacked. The key is to have two-factor authentication on all your accounts to keep them secure. This means that whenever someone tries to log in, they'll need both your username and password and one additional piece of information, like a code sent via text or an app on their phone that they wouldn't normally have access to. Number 8. We'll know straight away if our systems are compromised. Let's be serious for a second and acknowledge that there won't be red sirens going off if your system is breached. The first thing to know is that if you can't be sure of your system's security, this means the first thing you should do is monitor your network for signs of an intrusion. If you find nothing, then it must mean that nothing has happened. If something does happen, at least you will have a plan in place and who to contact with information about how to mitigate the damage and what steps need taken next. Number 7. Your antivirus software will protect you from all threats. A lot of people believe that their antivirus software will keep them safe. The problem with this is that there are many threats out there and your antivirus software is only one layer of a layered strategy. You need to have a plan in place for dealing with threats or else it won't work. And even if you do have an effective plan in place, things can still go wrong when you aren't careful enough about what's happening on your network. You can think of antivirus as an unmanned door. To secure it completely, you would need a lock. And that is where the two-layered strategy comes into place. In short, don't rely solely on any single piece of technology. Number 6. A third-party security provider will secure everything. A third-party security provider can only secure what they know about. Furthermore, they may not have the right skills or experience to protect your business. The only way to secure your network is by implementing a security framework that will help you to protect your assets. Additionally, if the provider doesn't have adequate cybersecurity measures in place protecting against attacks, such as ransomware, which encrypts all of your files with a demand for payment to release them, then your data could be at risk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It is also something that Caesar taught us, and now we know how important it is to stay vigilant at all times. Number 5. Cyber criminals only attack large businesses. When you hear the term cybersecurity, you might think that it's only for large businesses, but this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, cyber criminals use every size of business as a target for their attacks. They're often your data in your systems, which means they will go after any system that has anything valuable in it, whether that's yours or someone else's. Small business owners may not have access to as many resources or expertise when it comes to cybersecurity, and thus is at a disadvantage compared to their larger counterparts. Even Dunder Mifflin, a mid-sized Pennsylvania-based paper company's website, was hacked in a tremendous fashion. Ultimately, any business can become a target for cybercrime simply by virtue of its size or location relative to other enterprises in its industry sector, and so can an individual. So proactive measures, including adequate cybersecurity measures, should be taken regardless of your enterprise's size or identity. Number 4. We perform penetration tests regularly. Penetration tests are a good idea. 
They're difficult to perform and they can be expensive, but they're also not the only thing you should do in your security strategy. While penetration testing is an effective way of testing how secure a system really is, it's not always possible or practical. If you're running a business with multiple servers and websites, then it's probably not feasible for one person to keep track of everything at once. Instead, try hiring a consultant who has experience doing penetration tests on similar systems before moving forward with yours. Number 3. Your industry doesn't have any cyber threats Pop culture has glorified that only finance or tech firms can be breached. But that is not true. Businesses should be aware of this growing threat as even government institutions have been compromised in the past. So whether you're an individual responsible for monitoring your personal online accounts or a business owner who relies on electronic commerce for revenue generation, remember that you're not immune to cybercrime. As long as you keep up with current cybersecurity news and understand your vulnerabilities, you should be fine for now and into future years too. Number 2. You've paid for expensive cybersecurity tools, so you'll be safe. This is a common misconception that many people believe, and it's completely false. And there are two main reasons why this is so. One, you need to know how to use the product. If you don't know how to use it properly, there is no way for you or anyone else around you, if they're using it, to protect themselves from hackers or other security threats. Two, you need to know how often updates are released for the software running on your computer and other devices connected with yours via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth technology. It's important because if an update doesn't come out within some time frame after its initial release date, then there could be potential vulnerabilities in those updates that hackers could take advantage of by exploiting them through their own hacking skills. And number one, cybersecurity requires a large financial investment. The biggest misconception about cybersecurity is that it requires a large financial investment. However, this is not always the case. In fact, many cybersecurity solutions can be implemented without any significant expenditure. For example, simple steps like installing antivirus software and using passwords that are difficult to guess can go a long way in protecting your computer from malicious attacks. Moreover, there are numerous free resources available online that teach people how to protect their computers against viruses and other threats. Businesses can also take measures, such as utilizing strong encryption systems to secure their data. Cyber threats have long become a reality in the business world. To stay ahead, it is important to educate yourself about cybersecurity myths and understand exactly how to protect your company from these dangerous threats. As you can see, there are many myths surrounding cybersecurity that businesses often keep on ignoring at their own peril. It is time for businesses to be more proactive when it comes time to secure their networks and systems from cyber attacks. This brings us to the end of this video. If you found it useful, do like and subscribe to keep us motivated. See you next time.